Sensitivity factors that are measured using standard materials on a given instrument will necessarily include the transmission response of that instrument and also these escape depth corrections, the cross section and the angular distribution correction. So any sensitivity factors that have been calculated in this way will only be applicable for this specific instrument. However, if we know the relationship between this instrument in terms of its response and other instruments, then a relative transmission function can be calculated which would allow you to correct these sensitivity factors so other instruments measuring spectra can have these spectra corrected so that they have the same characteristics as this instrument that measured the standard materials and therefore these total sensitivity factors can be included in a calculation provided we also include a relative transmission function. And this is exactly what Kratos do. They provide an element library that represents a set of total sensitivity factors and these sensitivity factors were measured on a specific instrument for which the response as a function of the kinetic energy is known and then the response of any new instrument is measured and then a relative transmission function is calculated and included with spectra. So this means that the standard library, the Kratos library that contains a set of sensitivity factors can be applied to any of the new instruments provided the transmission is characterized in terms of a response relative to this standard instrument. We'll now look at an example of cellulose that was measured using a Kratos Axis Ultra and the lens mode is hybrid and it was passing G80 and these data also include, if I do control page up, the relative transmission function that allows the quantification with the element library that's set up with Kratos relative sensitivity factors. So control page down returns the spectrum and if we look at the element library as it currently stands we've got the cross sections that correspond to Schofield for aluminium. So what we need to do is load an element library that's appropriate for these data and these are Kratos sensitivity factors relative to the fluorine 1s. So I'm going to select this particular library here say select and load and now the library contains, let's click here on the carbon 1s, a value that's relative to the fluorine 1s, hence you find that carbon 1s has a value that's other than unity, and these are the total sensitivity factors that were appropriate for the standard instrument that measured these sensitivity factors. And in order to make use of them, the relative transmission function has to be used, that's this curve here, and we can create regions based on the carbon and the oxygen by selecting this button. So there, there we have a, a quantification based on the oxygen 1s and the carbon 1s. Let's just review the region limits and they seem appropriate. So we've got a pair of peaks here and I'll just knock off these element library markers. These are the regions here and here and and these are the results that indicate the amount of carbon relative to oxygen. So we would expect for cellulose to have a ratio that is about 1.2 between these two. So if we look at the ratio of these regions, well we've got 1.55. So this suggests that we've got slightly more carbon than we would expect for cellulose. And actually when you look at the carbon 1s, you can see why, because there ought to be two peaks here for cellulose, but we've got additional carbon signal here that is associated with CH that should not be part of the cellulose. So that explains why the survey spectrum is potentially correct in indicating that you've got more than the expected amount of carbon compared to oxygen for cellulose. It's worth checking that the quantification is being performed in the correct way. That is to say that these peaks are being corrected by the appropriate relative sensitivity factors and these were brought in from the element library and also the transmission is active that's indicated by this tick 
active whenever a transmission function is observed within the data file. And the other thing to note is that the escape depth correction is none because these are total sensitivity factors. They include an element of escape depth, so we should not include any escape depth correction that would be appropriate for Schofield cross sections, for example. And the other thing to check is that the angular distribution is also part of these sensitivity factors, so this should be indicating a magic angle, which means that no correction will occur when these sensitivity factors are brought in from the element library. So as it stands, we feel comfortable now that we've checked the sensitivity factors and that the corrections are all appropriate for these data, so we would think that these are a reasonable results to obtain from this particular spectrum. It's also worth noting that the hybrid mode is an, a mode optimized for sensitivity. So the potential for differences in the transmission that we see is due to the different optimization of the lens system to get the best signal for the given instrument.